Um, some of you might not know who I am. My name's Josh, um, Josh Whiteland. I'm from Dunsborough. I live in Dunsborough there. But our family connection comes right up through this area. And, uh, and I, uh, I run a uh, business called Coomwood Dreaming. I also work with uh, WATOC, West Australian Indigenous Tourism, and also work with Tourism WA. So it's really interesting to come down here and talk to you guys about some of the work that you, you guys do as well and how it can work hand in hand and having low impact on our coastline. Quite often I spend a lot of time down, down on Baranup Beach, Kilkarnup, places like that, and I'm seeing a lot of impact on these sacred areas. So it's really important that we can try to work together. Um, my grandmother is Vilma Webb. She's one of the matriarchal elders for the area. My grandfather used to swim in the Collie River in the Preston River down here when he was younger. He's since passed, but a uh, wonderful man. And through his legacies, we carry on through the Cultural Centre as a way to share aspects of our uh, culture with the wider community in an effort to increase reconciliation and cultural awareness. Um, in our language for welcome, we say kaya, kaya nunara, wadanti bibluma nyunga buja, nitya nyunga buja nukanini, means hello and welcome to this area, which is part of nyunga country that we're sitting in. Beautiful area, very diverse. We have some of the most rarest plants, um, one of the most rarest coastlines here we see, animals and also rainforest or forests in general, carry forests, tuart forests. And uh, yeah, so it's a very diverse area and it's one of the um, areas that we all choose to uh, call home. And also the reason why we call it home is because we're really connected to the area. And um, when we look at the uh, area in particular, especially along the coastline from Cape Naturals to Cape Lewin, it's very old, very ancient. And uh, we look at those areas where the caves and the grottos meet the ocean and they're very special to a lot of the Wadandi and the Bibberman. Okay? Um, if you cross the river to the south, you get the Pibbleman. If you go inland from here, you get Minang, Kurang and Wilman. You go north, you get Binjarap, Wajok, Baladong and Wadandi down towards the south. And so some of the traditional areas here. Um, this time of year now, a very special time of year because it's Bunaroo season. And in Bunaroo season, we're seeing, um, we're starting to see the, the salmon starting to come up along the Southern Ocean, up to the Indian Ocean here. They'll start to spawn up near Rock Nest and they'll start to swim back. We're seeing a lot of the red tail and the white tail, black cockatoos coming back to the area with the Banksia flower, the Mungarch from the Pugala and the Bulayella, the uh, coastal Banksia and the broadleaf Banksia tree. We're seeing the uh, red gum and the Jarrah flowering. Uh, we're seeing the big tidal movements with the full moon tomorrow night. We'll see a lot of tidal movements. Um, so it plays a lot with you looking at the coastline, uh, the, um, you know, the abalone. We're seeing a lot more oysters along our coastline now as well. Um, groper breeding areas um, and we know we're down there and we're, we're seeing these things firsthand and um, with the seasonal change now into, into Bunaroo season it's one of our six seasons and our six seasons are Burak, Bunaroo, Jilba, Cambrang, Makaroo and Duran and every two months they change due to the changing of the plants, the animals and of course the weather. I have a welcome song to kick off the, um, today's proceedings and I hope it's a very productive day as well because it's very important for this, with this area which is very special. Thank you. Thank you. 